Hey there and welcome to the Daily Manchester United News show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Man United's Kobe Maino reaches incredible career milestone in just four months. The last four months are what dreams are made of for Man United's Kobe Maino, and on a Tuesday night, the 18-year-old start his first match for England against Belgium. The season has been a breakthrough year for the midfielder ever since starting his first game for Man United back in November. Maino played from the off against Everton at Goodison Park and his performance that day announced the youngster to the world. The United star would go on to play in 20 games for the Red Devils this season and has become a key part of Eric Ten Hag's team with the Dutch coach having full faith in the youngster. Maino reached another milestone in January as he scored his first goal for Man United and they have kept coming since as last week saw the 18-year-old come off the bench to make his England debut at Wembley against Brazil. On a Tuesday night, Maino played from the beginning and won the Man of the Match award. This is a big deal for the 18-year-old who will now be looking to seize the opportunity and play his way into Gareth Southgate's plans for Euro 2024 this summer in Germany. There will be no pressure on the midfielder to perform and he will have the freedom to showcase his skills. The end of the season will be a big one for Maino as a place on the plane to Germany, Champions League football and an FA Cup medal are all up for grabs. Fabrizio Romano reveals English clubs interested in Mason Greenwood. Fabrizio Romano has revealed there is some interest in Mason Greenwood from English clubs as Manchester United look to sell the 22-year-old forward to the highest bidder this summer. Greenwood has spent the season on loan at Hitafi in La Liga following widespread condemnation at a plane by executives at Old Trafford to reintegrate the player back into the United first team. In an interview, the Italian transfer guru was asked for the latest developments on the club's interest in signing the forward. He said, many clubs in Spain, but in England there is also some interest. This is a further surprising development as many of the same issues United faced when trying to reintegrate Greenwood last summer will remain true should another team in the Premier League, for example, try to do the same. Regardless of this, however, Romano explained it's a good situation for United because there are many clubs interested and the Reds are prepared to cash in to generate as much income as possible. The acute pressure of financial fair play will impact United's ability to spend freely in the market this summer. A comprehensive overhaul of the squad is needed, with Inouye's keen to make a splash in their first transfer window at the helm of the club. As such, any players no longer wanted by or in Greenwood's case able to play for United who can be sold for at a good price will be much needed boost to their finances. Academy players in particular are considered the treasure troves from an FFP perspective as there is no inbound transfer fee to account for as Greenwood is. Romano concludes by stating, I don't see Mason Greenwood staying at the club. While his departure appears certain, the forward's next home is less clear. It may even shockingly be in England if Romano's words prove correct. Mon United to compete with the Premier League outfit for highly rated South American defender. Argentine defender Aaron Anselmino has been linked with a move to the Premier League and Manchester United are reportedly keen on the player. A reporter from Toto Mercato Web claims that Everton are keeping cabs on the South American defender as well and it will be interesting to see where the 18-year-olds ends up. Manchester United could certainly use a quality central defender in the coming months and the 18-year-old would be a long-term investment for them. Although he might not be ready to make his mark 
on the Premier League just yet, he could be a long-term prospect for the Red Devils, and he could establish himself as a key player for them with the right guidance. Anselmino is highly rated in South America, and he has a big future ahead of him. The opportunity to move to the Premier League will be a tempting proposition for the player. It would be a major step up for him, and it remains to be seen whether he can adapt to English football if the transfer goes through. Although Everton are keen on the player as well, Manchester United will hardly be worried about them. The Red Devils have a greater pool and more financial resources compared to the Toffees. They should be able to attract the defender if they are truly interested in him. Meanwhile, the defender is on the radar of European clubs, Benfica and AC Milan as well. Anselmino needs to join a club with a clear pathway to the first team. He will need ample first team opportunities in order to continue his development. It will be interesting to see if Manchester United are prepared to provide him with that opportunity. If they can come up with the necessary assurances, they might be able to get the deal done. The South American defender certainly has the potential to develop into a top class player with the right guidance and Manchester United have a proven track record when it comes to nurturing young players. The transfer could be ideal for all parties, and the deal could look like a bargain in the long run. Man United have preferential lane to sign cup miners. Manchester United could have an upper hand over Juventus in the race to sign Atalanta midfielder cup miners, according to Gazeta dello Sport. The Red Devils are likely to reinforce their midfield department this summer with the possibility of multiple exit. Sofiane Mrabit is expected to depart after his loan stand, while Christian Eriksen could also leave for regular minutes. There is also uncertainty over the future of Casimero, who is reportedly open to moving to Saudi Arabia. Amidst this, Gazeta dello Sport claimed that United could be prepared to compete with Juventus for cup miners. The Dutchman has already confirmed his desire to leave Atalanta, having missed the chance last summer. He has opened the door for a move to England, and United feel they have a preferential lane to sign him. The club have previously signed Ahmad Diallo and Rasmus Hoyland from the Bergamo-based outfit. Atalanta currently wants 60 million euros for the reprised asset, who has 16 goal contributions this term. The Red Devils are likely to prioritize a new midfielder this summer, and they have already been linked with several names. A defensive midfielder has been highlighted as the club's requirement, but their stance could change. If Casimero were to continue next season, manager Eric Tanha could request the club to sign a creative player instead. Cup Miners would be a quality addition in that case. The Dutchman has registered 12 goals and 4 assists this term. Aside from his goal involvements, he has also impressed with his ball recoveries, high pressing and tireless work rate. Cop Miners has the ability to play anywhere in midfield. He started off his career at Al Kamar as a regular defensive midfielder. His versatility would make him an ideal signing for United. Gonzalo Inazio has been the subject of several observations from Mon United. Sporting Lajbon defender Gonzalo Inazio has been the subject of several observations from Manchester United, according to record. The Red Devils are likely to invest on a Marquis centre-back this summer, and I have been linked with Gleison Bremer and Jared Brandthwaite in recent weeks. Inazio is another player who has been mentioned as a target, and record claim that he has been closely watched by United scouts over the campaign. Liverpool and Newcastle United are also highlighted as admirers of the Portugal international who has a release clause worth 60 million euros in his contract. Sporting are unlikely to sell him for less than his buyout clause this summer. The 22-year-old has reportedly been on the radar of the Red Devils for the past two years, but there has been no formal contact between the clubs thus far. 
United were first linked with the Portuguese in early 2022 when there was speculation that the hierarchy wanted to bring in a left-footed central defender. However, they ended up signing Lisandro Martinez from Ajax instead. Despite his injury woes, the Argentine has proved a fantastic acquisition for United. In our view, the current gossip around Inazio could be agent-driven. The defender is represented by the same representative as Bruno Fernandes and Miguel Pino. Pino is probably using United's name as a negotiation tool with other top European clubs. The Red Devils could sign a left-footed centre-back during the summer transfer window, but it appears clear that Everton's Brantwaite is the priority target. Man United could look to raid Euro Giants for 25-year-old French international. Manchester United are looking to bring in a quality central defender at the end of the season, and they are keeping tabs on Bayern Munich defender Diot Opamecano. According to Rudi Galatti, the defender is open to an experience away from the Bundesliga, and therefore he is on the list at Manchester United. It will be interesting to see if the Red Devils decide to come forward with an official proposal to sign the 25-year-old French international defender at the end of the season. Galatti claims that the future of Raphael Varane and Harry Maguire is uncertain at Old Trafford and Manchester United are looking at Jean-Claude Todibo and Antonio Silva as well. It will be interesting to see who they end up signing eventually. Opamecano has proven his quality in the Bundesliga, but he can be inconsistent at times. He will have to cut out the errors from his game in order to truly thrive at the highest level. He will be up against top-class players in the Premier League, and the Bayern Munich defender will need to improve. Apart from his defensive qualities, the Frenchman will add control and composure at the back with his distribution. He is an impressive passer and his presence will allow Manchester United to build from the back. Ideally, Manchester United should look to bring in more than one central defender in the summer. Johnny Evans will move on in the summer and he will need to be replaced as well. A move to the Premier League will be an exciting opportunity for Opa Mikano, and he will hope that Manchester United can secure an agreement with Bayern Munich in the coming months. Man United offers £77 million for midfielder Eric Ten Hag is the separate to sign. It has been reported that Manchester United have increased their offer for Barcelona midfielder Frankie de Jong ahead of the summer transfer window. The Netherlands International and the Red Devils have already been linked on many occasions. According to reports, Man United made Barcelona an offer of 90 million euros for de Jong. El National claims that de Jong who was before seen as essential is now one of the players that might leave which would be a significant development for the Catalan giants. This action is purportedly a component of Barcelona's larger plan, spearheaded by Deco, to reduce financial strains by unloading top earners prior to making new signings. Juan Laporta, the president of Barcelona, reportedly has an offer of 90 million euros from Man United on the table and De Jong is no longer untouchable, according to the latest rumors. After overseeing De Jong during a fruitful tenure at Ajax, Man United manager Ten Hag wants to reunite with one of his fetish footballers. The Dutch midfielder, who is also linked to Bayern Munich, is cited on several occasions as the one chosen to leave Barca and clean up the accounts, meaning that the Spanish club would be getting rid of one of the highest salaries in the entire locker room. This possible purchase of the young will fit with Man United's philosophy and further bolster the squad. A number of midfielders are expected to leave Old Trafford in the summer, and the Dutch midfielder would be ideal for the Red Devils. Casimero, Christian Eriksen and Sofian Mrabat all have uncertain futures at the club. De Jong's sale may have a big effect on Barcelona's tactically as well as financially because the club would lose a player who is very much a part of their ideology. 
It also gives Barcelona a chance to regroup and get back on track financially. As we wrap up today's Manchester United news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.